morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and Space Station Live. Today is all about eye exams, experiments, and express racks on the International Space Station. A good portion of the crew's time on the U.S. side of the space station is being devoted to the eye exams that have been going on this week as part of the ocular health experiment. After taking part in regular eye chart and tonometry exams on Monday and a fundoscope exam yesterday, Nyberg and Parmitano are today enlisting Cassidy's help to perform ultrasounds of their eyes and take blood pressure measurements. This is part of an ongoing experiment aimed at gathering data on how being in space affects astronauts' intracranial pressure and in turn their vision. Meanwhile, on the Russian side of the space station, Commander Vinogradov is working again today to unpack the almost three tons of supplies delivered to the station on Saturday by Progress 52, while Ms. Serkin and Yurchikin work with Nyberg to gather some of the NASA tools they'll be borrowing for their next spacewalk on August 16th. They'll also spend a good deal of time going over the procedures for that spacewalk, which will prepare the station for the arrival of the new multipurpose laboratory module that uh, will be launching to the space station in the future. Nyberg and Parmitano again took part in the reaction self-test today, looking at how fatigue affects their performance, and will repeat that test tonight before they go to sleep. And Nyberg also joined Parmitano in an experiment that he's been taking part in all week, the Pro-K experiment, which looks at how changes in an astronaut's diet can decrease their bone loss during long stays in space. Plus, Parmitano did a bit of work with a BCAT experiment, or the binary colloidal alloy test, which is uh, an experiment that looks at how liquids and gases separate in space, as gravity masks the fundamental physics that drive that separation here on Earth. It allows space scientists to get a better look at what is actually going on in that separation. The bulk of Cassidy's time today was spent working on the station's ex Express Rack 7, which has a failed rack interface controller. Express is actually an acronym for the Expedite, the Processing of Experiments for Space Station. And uh, they are refrigerator-sized houses for science experiments in a number of different disciplines. Cassidy devoted about four hours of his day-to-day -day working to rotate the rack away from the uh, space station's wall so that he can replace that failed controller.